applying bagged larvae to a wound is a quick and straightforward procedure. You are about to see bagged larvae being applied to a pressure ulcer located on a patient's heel. To apply bagged larvae, you will need a wound dressing pack, barrier or zinc cream, surgical tape, saline solution, scissors, a gauze swab, a non-occlusive bandage, a non-occlusive absorbent pad, bagged larvae. Firstly, clean the wound using a gauze pad and irrigate with saline solution. Thoroughly cleansing the wound aims to remove debris and any residue of previous dressings or treatments. This process supports the effectiveness and viability of the larvae. Protect the peri-wound area using a barrier or zinc cream. This barrier may need to be reapplied daily. Moisten some gauze in saline solution ready to place directly on top of the larvae. Wring the gauze thoroughly. It should be moist, not wet. Remove the bagged larvae from the vial. Check the larvae to ensure movement. Apply the bagged larvae to the wound. Ensure the bag is in direct contact with the wound bed and wound margins. Place the moistened gauze over the top of the bagged larvae. Put an absorbent wound pad on top and fasten in place using gauze tape. Only permeable and non-occlusive dressings can be used. Occlusive or potentially occlusive dressings such as superabsorbent wound pads or foam dressings, cannot be used. Secure the outer dressing in place using tape or a non-occlusive dressing, such as a bandage or stockinette. Check the wound daily as outlined in the four-day care cycle. Remove the outer dressings and place the larvae onto a sterile field to allow for wound assessment. Typically, there will be an increase in wound exudate, which can be malodorous. Any discoloration of exudate indicates the viability of the larvae. The larvae should be moving and they should have visibly increased in size. Following assessment, replace the larvae and apply new outer dressings. On day three of the care cycle, assess the need for further treatments and order accordingly. When the treatment is complete, remove the larvae and outer dressing. Once removed, place the larvae in a clinical waste bag. On disposal, double bag the larvae and dressings. Consider the larvae contaminated dressings waste and dispose of as per local policy.